The title of today's story is Cooperation. A long time ago, in the Buddha's day, there was a bunch of monks who were fighting. They were arguing, they were being stubborn, they weren't listening. And people told them, hey guys, stop fighting. It's ugly, it's bad for the religion, it doesn't look good, it's not good. They said, no, I'm right, they're wrong, they're wrong, I'm right. And they keep arguing. So the Buddha told a story of the past. He says, once upon a time, a long time ago, there was a big group of birds who lived together in a tree. Now one day, a hunter was walking by and he saw it. And he says, wow, I want to catch all these birds to kill them and cook them and eat them and sell them. And so he put out this big net and he waited for the birds to come down to get food. So he put down all the little seeds on the floor and then a lot of birds, like 30, 40, 50 birds, flew down and started eating the seeds. Then the hunter cut the net and the net fell down on the birds. Now, the birds, if they work together, they might be able to get away. But because every bird didn't care about each other and only cared about escaping, they all started flying in different directions, up and down, and the net just got tighter and tighter, and they couldn't get away. So then the hunter just came very easy, grabbed the net, picked it up, and had a big bag of birds. Well, when the leader of the birds came home, he saw that a lot of the birds were missing, and a lot of the birds were crying, my mom, my son, my daughter, they're missing. What do we do? Well, then the leader says, don't worry, there's a way to fix this. Next time that we are in that situation, everyone be calm and work together. Everyone stand in their own little spot, put their head inside the hole of the net, and fly together at the same speed, only up. Don't fly left, don't fly right. Fly up, and then put the net on the tree, and then fly down and escape. Well, the next time this happened, the birds listened. Instead of getting nervous and surprised, they got their mindfulness, their sati and they used their wisdom to listen to what the leader said. They all did not get excited. They put their heads in the little holes and started flapping their wings and flew straight up. Then they put the net on the tree and then they escaped. And not a single bird was killed. Now, when the hunter went home with an empty bag of birds, his wife says, hey, what happened? He says, oh no, the birds, they worked together. They had teamwork and I couldn't capture them. And the wife says, oh, don't worry about it. Uh, most people are not good at working together. Eventually, they're going to fight and they're going to break up. And so he says, okay. So he kept putting the nets out. Well, guess what? One day it happened. One team of birds says, hey, you stepped on my head. Hey, that's my branch. You are standing on my branch. No, this is my branch. No, you stepped on my head. And they started fighting. And so they started fighting, then they started having two teams. I don't like you, you don't like me, I don't like you guys. And they started breaking into many little groups, many little cliques, and they started having enemies. Well, the next time that they got under the net, instead of having their mindfulness, and they were thinking about what to do, mm -mm, they thought, I don't want to fly with you, don't tell me what to do, I don't want to listen to you, I know what to do. And they started flying in different directions. Well, guess what? They couldn't get away and they got captured. And so, what is the moral of this story? The moral of this story, what is the moral of the story? We have to try to work together because if we can work together, we can create bigger and better things, right? If we always try to be different and try to change and be the one to control everything and, and tell other people what to do, that's not good teamwork. You always want to think about having good teamwork. You don't have to do the same thing, but work together. Try to work together to make things better together. We all live as a group. In this world, you can't live by yourself, right? We belong to many teams. The first team that you belong to is what? Your family. You have a mom, you have a dad, some of us have brothers and sisters. That's one team. When you go to school, you have a, your grade, your classroom, that's another team. When you play in sports, that's another team. Right now, you guys are part of the temple team. So when we're at the temple, we want to work together. Everyone follows the rules, everyone helps each other, everyone's nice to each other, and the temple's a nice place to be. But if we come to the temple and everyone's yelling and screaming and rude and dirty and mean, 
then the temple becomes not a nice place to be. And that is the power of teamwork and cooperation. Satu.